impressed with both of the knives so far. I am a little bit shocked, actually, that they were able to turn out like pretty unique blades together yeah. so quickly. This is going to be really, really hard to determine who wins. Yeah. So We'll give them both a cheeseburger. Yeah. This is a three hour forge challenge making a knife from start to finish. Gentlemen, your time starts now. Ben and Levi are Logan's apprentices. We challenged them both to build a knife in just three hours. I recorded the whole video on my phone because I was originally just gonna make a series of shorts, but it ended up being too good. I had to turn it into a whole video. Unfortunately, the audio does leave something to be desired, but I'm still gonna send it. Levi's marking out a reference point for his handle and blade length. Y'all are 30 minutes in. You got two and a half hours left. I noticed you switched over to the press. Exhausting. How's yours coming along? Uh, pretty good. Uh, I'm just trying to draw it out right now. Yeah. And then I'll work in the tip in the handle as I go. Ben's come up with a nice little shortcut. Since we're under a strict time constraint, he's putting in his bevel with the press. Blades Biz, you have one hour and 30 minutes to finish your blades. That means sharp and ready for testing. That is impossible. Hey, so can I um, angle grind hot metal? Um, just gonna take your stern look as a, as a yes. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, okay? What are you doing now? Just cooling it down so I can grind. I don't know if that's gonna work. So, let me ask you a question. Have you ever played with 5160? I've never even touched a spring drill before. So, do you know whether or not it air hardens?
you guys nervous about the handles? Yeah. Handle not so much. What sure. are, everything before and after. <laughs> Right now, currently, they've got about an hour 20 left. We've got one blade smith drilling holes. We've got another one already on the grinder. I'm going to give you the option of using paracord. Yes. You can cord wrap your handle. I know how to do that. Are you happy with how the fullering dies stand for pressing in the bevel? For the most part, yeah. I actually did a lot better than I planned it to. So. How's it coming? It's going pretty good. I'm really liking it. Yeah, it's got a nice shape, nice subtle curve right here. How are you feeling, Levi? <laughs> you liking it? Honestly, the knife doesn't look that bad. I'm pretty sure I have a bit more weight. Beefy. A bit. Beefy. But not much. Really? Yeah. I just weighs a little bit more. Just a tad, not much though. You're right. He asked if I paused the timer and I said no, and he took off running. Yeah. <laughs> watching them do right now is they're normalizing they're normalizing to prevent warping they're not normalizing for green structure growth or anything like that they could have just done a couple of edge heats and then quenched and the material is so thick it's not going to warp So they're tempering with the forge instead of the torch because it's a lot faster. Seven minutes! I totally ruined it. Two minutes, guys! Jeez. It's gonna take Ben three minutes to untangle that mess. I'm being... Just cut it. Three, two, one! Shut off your machine! Drop your paracord! Levi! Is 
Yeah. I'm actually pleased. You yeah, sure? you should be. <laughs> you don't think it's gonna hold an edge at all? Not really. It might. We'll find out. Well, Let me I don't just know if that's just all right. Thing. Because I care about you guys so much, I'm gonna let you guys quickly quarter wrap your handles. Okay. But there will be a penalty inflicted. What? All right, we're back on track. Tie dose. Just gotta keep the tension the whole time. Mm-hmm. Brian, can you get me on something to cut the end off? What, like a knife? Maybe. Where am I gonna get one of those? I can't tell you. Not bad. Definitely a chopper. That's what I wanted. What do you think, Levi? Not happy? I don't really think it's gonna hold an edge. Three hours is not a lot of time to make a knife from start to finish. Some would say not enough. However, to make a functional knife, it's plenty of time. That's the goal for this challenge. Did they make functional knives? Are their edges going to completely obliterate during the test or are they gonna hold up? You're about to find out. Are you guys stressed? No, that's, no. Yeah. It's not even gonna make it. Oh, jeez. I hit the vice, look. That was my... <laughs> oh, no. That doesn't count against you, that was my fault. You need a reshare. I chopped the wood and, and threw the vice. Yeah. All right. Use a mallet. Do I look like somebody that uses mallets? You look like somebody that uses mess. Oh. I have a camping knife and it just splits stuff like that. Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> so we did a with grain and we did a against grain. So far so good. Did you just realize you cut up some wood you needed? Uh oh. Both did good. I'm gonna get the hand. I'm gonna get the ice. Arm chop challenge. Nice. Pass. <laughs> The blade did good. You got a little bit of a ding right there, but that's really good because that was an extremely aggressive antler chop. You might have hit the antler. And there's the antler. I didn't hit the bias. Nope. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Well, right now the vice is failing the test. <laughs> thin stuff. This is annoying. That's a pass. That is definitely a pass. Oh, no, that was from the original one. That was from the vice. Yep. Nope. Nothing. Well, it cut it. Don't do it on the handle. Cut it in half. Ah, a little bit of roll, but I say that's a pass. Really? <laughs> How nervous were you? Uh, yeah, that's probably one of the scariest things I've ever seen done on my knives. All right, Ben. Seeing that, how nervous are you now? Yes. <laughs> Okay. 
I think we have we have a flat edge. We tested your blade on two things. One on its performance and one on its fit and finish. Okay? We looked at every aspect of the knife, we went over every single challenge, and what we determined was it was pretty equal. Both of y'all did a great job, and we were really, really proud of both of y'all. That being said, I'm gonna start with Levi. Levi, you lost in the performance part of it. You won in the fit and finish. Let me explain why you lost. There were two different parts. Remember what Brian said just a second ago, y'all were more competing against yourselves than you were each other. Y'all helped each other a ton, which shows who y'all's character and who y'all are as people, and that's more important than winning any of them stupid challenge. Okay? So, to talk the reason why you lost performance was, and I think you know why, we've got one, two, three different nicks. That's from the anvil and from the nail, yeah. He has one nick from the anvil. This one was from the antler over here. So we made sure we carefully selected each blade from the antler, yeah. So, that being said, I think you realize what happened and why this happened. I think that his was actually cooler when he pulled it out of the tempering than when yours was. So you, I think you called it pretty good. All in all though, this knife will still work and feel better than it hard than most everybody's knife. So this is still gonna perform great and feel. Your fit and finish is where you were victorious. Your handle wrapping is really pretty. It's really clean. The handle was finished out. You did a nice good edge roll on the spine and it looks good. And even though I was hammering hard on your spine, it didn't move too much, which is really important. So kudos and good job on that. Thank you. Ben. All right. Okay, so when we were looking at it in deliberation and we were talking about it, there was a clear difference in the ending result with the way the knives looked. Mm -hmm. um, we both agree his looks better in a sense of the fit and finish. Um, the other thing too, I was I actually brought up your handle wrap and I really, really liked your handle wrap and Brian reminded me Brian helped you with your yeah. handle wrap. So we couldn't give you any points based on that, which was tough. However, although you didn't win the fit and finish category, there was a clear difference in the performance of the blades. Not because the smithing was any different or anything like that, but I think you pulled yours out at the right temperature to keep the temper right. And that's what yielded. You only got one edge roll right here when we were doing the nail chop through the thing. Okay, so you didn't have any major deflection or anything like that. That being said, both of these baits can be easily resharpened and used in field. They're, you're not going to do anything like this in the field with these. This is not stuff you do with knives. You're going to use these for basic things. So congratulations, you won the performance aspect. Your edge is still sharp. The one I was really looking for was to see if that tip after I hit that vise, when it chipped out, I thought, oh, that was it. You know, And then after I resharpened it and tested it a little bit more, the edge held up. And so that's the reason you're moving forward with your performance. Congratulations. The ergonomics as well. That's yes. a, that's part of that the was performance. A, that was another really big aspect. The ergonomics of the blades. Y'all both built choppers. And this, this, is, is, this is a die-hard ergonomic chopper. When this thing swings with a forward weight and that heavy, heavy edge, it just lops out, lops out. The other reason why performance was given to him over this one was actually his, his, his spine is thicker on his handle and it held better. When I was swinging with yours like this, it rolled in my hand because it's, it's a little thin through here. This one just stuck literally just right here and all that weight's right there. This one finished out better. This one chops better. Subscribe to our channel, go to our Patreon, become a Patreon supporter, and leave a comment below who you think the clear winner was. Who knows, maybe we'll do this a challenge again with some more people that we've had lessons with in the, in the past. Stay sharp, my friends.